हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इन इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन ट्रिपल ई ट्यूटोरियल्स एंड टुडे दिस इज अवर बेसिक ऑफ कंट्रोल वॉल्स वीडियो एंड जनरली व्हेन यू आर गोइंग फॉर एनी इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन इंटरव्यू देन दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन जनरली आस्क सो वी विल टॉक अबाउट इन डिटेल्स द फाइव क्वेश्चन वॉट इज आई टू पी कन्वर्टर एंड हाउ इट इज़ यूज वॉट इज द एस एंड हाउ इट इज़ यूज एंड वॉट इज द यूज ऑफ द ए एफ आर वॉट इज द पोजिशन आर वॉट इज द लिमिट सोल्स so please watch full video so that you will have the knowledge of these five questions so now coming to our first part what is the i2p converter so simply i2p means current to means current to pressure transducer so simply it convert current into pressure so where it is used because when you have this wall okay this is the diaphragm type wall this is actuator so okay so now for operating for operating this uh, actuator we require pneumatic signal pneumatic signal okay uh, air signal okay air signal pneumatic means air signal or instrument air signal okay so it is connected through any positioner okay the one air is coming from here to this from the source air supply and inside this positioner there is one i to p converter and also we can have this body okay and this body is connected through any line and where some fluid is flowing through this line and going from other places now one electrical signal okay one electrical signal this is electrical signal is coming from the panel for operating this wall so it will be 4 to 20 milliampere or if you are using any field bus or profi bus a uh, signal then it may have some digital signal but here we are using 4 to 20 milliampere signal and when it reached here 4 to 20 milliampere but our actuator is required to operate uh, pneumatic signal so inside this positioner inside this positioner there is one i to p converter which convert this 4 to 20 milliampere to 3 to 15 psi and then means whenever the 4 milliampere signal is coming then it will convert 3 psi okay when 20 milliampere is coming then it convert 15 psi so this is how this i to p converter convert the electrical signal into pneumatic signal so then it will operate as per its fail safe action okay fail safe action or its design so it will operate so this is how i to p converter is used and how it uh, convert current to pressure now the next point is what is the sob so where sob is used so sob is when you have a wall okay you have a wall and when you want to operate okay this is your actuator install and for actuation of this actuator there is one sov solenoid operated wall solenoid operated wall is installed it takes electrical signal and it has some under arrangement which convert electrical signal into mechanical movement of the plunger so generally sob has one coil and one plunger one plunger means we can say one 
or it is inside this plunger through the as the uh, air signal air signal supply to this actuator this is actuator okay it may have some piston type or other type of actuator which will work upon the air signal which is supplied by the sov so uh, whenever some electrical signal is received by this sov then its coil is energized and according to the coil energization it will provide force to operate plunger upward or downward depends on nc or no operation normally close and normally open in last video we have seen what is the normally close and normally open whenever the uh, if we talk about the normally close during de-energization of the sov the sov will be close but when the electrical signal will be provided then sob will be open so this is the normally close meaning and normally open meaning is simply when during the de-energized condition the sob will be open whenever we will provide electrical signal the sob will be closed so this is the meaning of the nc and no so the coil when uh, then the nc is is a uh, uh, type of coil is used then the coil will lift plunger to the upward position so that it will provide the it will open the orifice and through the orifice the air will pass to the actuator and then the actuator will operate and the wall will open or close and the fluid will go to the destination so this is the sob now when we talk about the types of the sob the first is to y2 type two way 3 by 2 5 by 2 these are the types of the sob two way means only it has two position open and means this is the the air will uh, in and out two position only not open and close in and out the air will pass through this to this only two position three by two means one is in two is output and three is exhaust and five by two is also simply meaning uh, means one two input two output and also one there is a one exhaust so 5 by 2 is generally used double acting actuator and um, uh, so the any port can be used the one pair of the port can be used for actuating in one position for operating the actuator and uh, the one port pair of the one port is can be used for operating in another position so this is the use of the 5 by 2 and 3 by 2 and 2 by 2 now the next point is what is the afr so the full form of the air filter regulator air filter regulator okay and what is the use of this filter it has two assembly one is uh, pressure reducing assembly and second one is filter assembly so the work of the pressure reducing assembly when um, you are providing 7 kg pressure then it reduce as per the requirement of the actuator 4 kg 5 kg 6 kg or 7 kg but it cannot increase beyond the 7 kg because we have at the source end 7 kg pressure so it cannot increase beyond the 7 kg so this is the pressure reducing assembly there one is filter assembly because the air is going through air afr to your sob to a air positioner and actuator so it may have some dust particle it may have some moisture so air filter regulator generally remove all the dust uh, which depends on its um, filter size 
so the selection criteria of the afr is also very important because it should remove all the um, bigger items or bigger dust particles so that the sob and positioner and actuator life will be increased so this is the use of the afr now the fourth part is what is the positioner so generally your positioner is used to operate your wall at your desired position so uh, whenever uh, your this is your scale 100 and 0% okay and uh, this is your wall this is your actuator okay and this is your body so what is the use of the positioner whenever you are providing 4 to 20 milliampere whenever 4 milliampere is uh, uh, provided to the positioner then it will stop or it will close the wall means it will generate or it will actuate the actuator into close position but whenever you increase 20 milliampere or 16 milliampere then it will start to open the wall and uh, whenever you reach at the 20 milliampere then your uh, actuator will be fully open so this is the use of the positioner generally it is used for controlling the position of the walls so it can be also used in a closed loop which we have seen in our last video so this is the use of the positioner now what is the limit switch so limit switch is used to give the feedback of the walls so what is the use of the limit switch this is your wall and this is your actuator and above the actuator there is one limit switch or some side also limit switch can be installed so the your stem will be move upward or downward so here a limit switch you have to give one surface which will move along with this stem and the limit switch which is connected through or plc or dcs or some controller so it will sense if it is um, uh, sensing from this location then your wall will be open but during the close position your air stem will move towards here then it will move here then it will sense that it is not open but two limit switch can be used one is used for providing the open indication and another one can be used for providing the close indications and also some limit switch are installed above of the actuator which will uh, give accurate reading of the close and open and it has two assembly limit switch of the assembly are provided through one line so that they can provide what is the status of the wall it is open or it is closed so generally limit switch used to provide the feedback of the wall to the plc and dcs and to the operator so that they can action uh, they can take further action so this is the use of the limit switch so thank you very much for watching this video and if you are new on our youtube channel then please subscribe and also press the bell icon so that whenever we will upload any new video you will get a notification or if you have any doubt then please comment us and also you can comment us for how this video is made and also please like this button and thank you very much for watching this video till the end